hi <laughs> how's you guys doing how's everyone doing so this is the only time i get to make videos at night when my daughter is asleep and i have to be fast though i have to be quick with my video because she will soon wake up and want to eat <laughs> ah, man mm. see i cannot complain I cannot complain. Eh, I cannot complain. <laughs> I can't complain. Even though I know, I know you guys know exactly what I want to say, but I cannot complain. <laughs> I give God thanks, Lord. I worship you. I adore you. I praise your holy name. I cannot complain. <laughs> um. Okay. So. Um. Yeah. I wanted to just fill you, fill you guys in on a few things and share a few things with you people, right? Um, okay, so <laughs> man, still on the matter. Ah, still on the matter. Okay, so a friend reached out to me um, on Saturday morning and um, she came across the video I made a few weeks back where I was saying, Do you boo? Do you boo? How come I do? How, how come I do me and you guys go crazy? <laughs> you can just scroll through my page and you see the video exactly on my youtube the full clip or the full video is on my youtube channel um so she she she, she sent me a dm and uh, she was commenting on that video and she was like wow babe i prayed for this um um i held back so much from commenting on most of your posts because i didn't want to argue um what she said she said um I didn't want to argue, but I knew that your but I knew that your love for Christ was so radiant, and at the right time, the Holy Spirit was going to teach you how to navigate um, such a certain belief. Yeah, that's what she said, and all of that. That she she came across my business page, and then she's like, ah, she was, she's like, let her go, let her go and check up, let her go and check up on me. Like it's been a while. So like, in fact, that she muted me. <laughs> for her mental health that she muted me and i'm like oh my goodness that instant i'm like i can't imagine the amount of people that muted me blocked me or followed me. <laughs> oh my goodness and then she said that um uh, she, she now came up she now came on my page and then saw the video and she was really excited for me she didn't even know i've given birth self can you imagine <laughs> this is my friend from way back so like ah congratulations on your baby and everything and i'm like oh my goodness oh my goodness like i didn't even believe it but i was i was happy that she was able to reach out to me and actually tell me exactly how she felt about everything and and the key thing that really encouraged me was the fact that she said she prayed for this and i'm like wow you know i was really really touched that she said she prayed for this um I, I mean, I was, it, it touched me and then I was like, please, people should come back, come back, come back, come back because I've missed you guys. Um, and then she's like, don't worry, the same way I came back, like the same way I came back, God's going to bring back everybody that he has destined to be on this journey with you. Ah, you know, she said so much. She was like, um, you know, saying, you know, she said, I, I'm, I'm actually going to post a conversation because I asked her if I should post a conversation. She said, yeah, I, I, should, I could post the conversation because I just feel like it might encourage somebody there are different ways this actually this thing can actually inspire or encourage anyone uh, and i'm going to be honest about my own side of the whole thing and how he really how he has really encouraged me um uh, so then she went on to talk about my whole weight gain and how i want to lose weight and you know let's pray about it and you know it might sound ridiculous i pray about it but that also further encouraged me she's like god is interested in every every detail and desire of our life something like that you know i'm, I'm gonna post a conversation and i was so i haven't heard from her in a very long time but i was really really encouraged and i said okay i'm going to share with my insta fam i'm going to share with everybody <laughs> okay so let me just say it as it is okay so um i actually got to realize recently that's not recently how am i going to say it down anyways like i said or 
like my friend said she muted me and then instantly i started thinking about the many people that would have because this is if this one this is one that i've known me from way back yet <laughs> so i'm like babe but you know she did what she needed to do at the time but i'm happy she actually even remembered me and thought to check on me and then even went further to actually tell me how she felt and everything and i mean of course she knows she she i'm sure she of course she she knows or she knew that i meant no harm and um some of you that already know me from way back so you guys know that ah I, I was in the debating society in secondary school i was the SUG president in uni and you know politics is my thing and okay yes i love to argue sometimes <laughs> let me not even try and package that one <laughs> like i like to argue like argument mm. Senior literature and debate society. Mm, I will say here. Mm, it's, <laughs> I can argue. Hey, let me know. I wanted to try and package it and say me, but let me just be honest. I can argue. <laughs> I have strength. I can argue. <laughs> let me never come and phone holy way in that area now. I can argue. Okay, but then the truth is, I mean, if you really, 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 really know me, you know that I don't mean, I don't mean. I don't mean I, I don't I don't mean any harm. I never mean I never it's never my intention to offend anyone, insult anyone, bash anyone. Do you understand? Um I could be very what's the word now? I mean I I mean I, I used to be I don't want to say I'm I'm very opinionated. I used to be very opinionated and why I'm using that word is because ever since I gave my life to Christ. Christ comes first before my opinions. And even though I confess that I still struggle in that area, I still struggle to, you know, push my own opinion or share my own opinions or throw my own opinions out there, even when it may not necessarily be something that is pleasing to God because my priorities have really changed. Everything I do has to please God. Everything I do has to please God. And if it's not pleasing God, there is no point in doing it to get But like I said... It's a struggle. You know, when you're a very opinionated person, you're used to sharing your opinions. You're used to, you know, saying what's on your heart and, you know, stuff like that. And um, it's, been a, it's, it's been a bit of a struggle for me, but the Holy Spirit has been helping me. So this whole election period and the whole mega macro period and, you know, I don't, but you, I mean, if, I don't know for how long you've been following me, but... I can be very vocal on certain on certain topics, right? I can I can be very firm on my stands in certain areas and stuff like that. So um the other day I even asked the question, what does it really mean to be judgmental? Even though I got very few responses, but um one of my friend PP, she said something that was on Facebook actually. She really ah, she gave me <laughs> She gave me sermon, <laughs> but something I picked out, picked from what, from everything she said was she said something about approach, you know, the approach is what matters because, you know, I'm sure you guys get it, like being judgmental, maybe you may not mean to, but approach is key, something like that. So I picked that up from her and I mean, it's not like we don't know these things, right? I'm not, I'm, I mean, I know that approach is key, but sometimes that you know something doesn't necessarily even mean that. You, you 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 know the best way to go about it how am i going to say it now so even though i'm a christian i'm born again and i am really trying to serve god and please god at the same time i still have my own opinions i still want to share my own opinions i still want to be myself and um of course i'm a compassionate person i don't mean to hurt anyone and um i know that there are ways i should approach certain things but sometimes i just want to be myself sometimes I really don't know how else to, you know, sometimes I really don't know how to approach a thing in the best way. You know, sometimes my judgment is askew. Sometimes my, you know, you understand. So we fall short every time. But, but, um, and then again, sometimes you may, how do I say it? I mean, like I said, I said, sometimes I know that, I, I know that, how I said again we don't necessarily have to agree on the same things but I still expect that we can 
go we can get along even without agreeing to get so sometimes in my mind i'm innocently really i'm innocently throwing out my opinions there i'm not actually trying to get at anybody or hurt anyone or do anything people that know me personally can attest to this because I mean, I'm not that kind of person that goes out to bash people or insult people or lash out on anyone. But I can be firm on my opinions. Like I said, I can take my stands on things. I can argue. <laughs> and then, yes, I love politics. I love to talk politics and all of that. But I guess I have to work on my, 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 my modus operandus or my mode of approach. Now, during the whole uh, Trump and election and everything, I think one or two people came into my DM. One just went all out on me and just <laughs> lashed me and said all sorts of things to me and said, you know, accused me and just, you know, she was really pissed. He or she, I really don't, can't even remember, was really, really pissed. And then I'm like, I'm really, really sorry about how you feel. That's not my intention. But in my mind, I already knew there's nothing I can do. I mean, I, I mean, you already, you already have your mind made up so uh, exactly and then somebody else also came to i had a few people that you know had literally to, but the way they went about it is like they came out to lash out on me so it's like for me i'm like well okay because you you because you can't make a good argument or because you can't so i'm jealous i wasn't looking at it they i i, I didn't think they came from from not like not like i didn't think i mean their message didn't come from a place of i'm not gonna say love but like i told one of them it's not funny we we accuse people of the same things we're guilty of so you're lashing out on me for something that i did or for maybe a post you didn't agree with and then how does that you coming to lash out on me my dm how does that make anything better <laughs> i don't get it you get and then I even had a, I had a friend of mine in the U.S. If I had to call, I had to say, like, please, Jennifer, let's have a conversation, my friend. So we're like, let me understand why you even support this Trump. And then we had a call, we had a WhatsApp call. We talked for a long time. And even though at the end of the conversation, we still, <laughs> I haven't approached it. <laughs> Do you understand? But we didn't, we didn't, we didn't get upset at each other. Do you understand? The person is a Democrat and a liberal, even though the person is conservative at heart. <laughs> You know, but stuff like that. So, I've had a couple of people that I usually find. <laughs> so, the truth is that deep down in my heart, I want to have this conversation because I see how you, I, I see how these things really influence people. So, whether 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 you're right or you're wrong isn't even my issue right now. It's just the 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 way it really influences people or. The way it really affects people that I like, so this period made me really understand how these things affect people deeply. Do you understand? So I'm like, okay, Jennifer, calm down, right? So I know that a lot, I know that a few people, I fact, I, I met someone, I was talking to somebody like, I have very, very unpopular opinions and it's very, very pathetic, so just don't mind me. She gets so, but before I continue. My opinions really don't matter. So this is not even about who is right or who is wrong. This is really me trying to say that. Um, try, this is me giving you guys gist about my friend that reached out to me and said that she prayed for me. And she really encouraged me. And this is me trying to communicate with you guys to let you guys know that, hey, see, I really don't mean any harm to get a hair so and it's, it's funny because i could put up a picture of trump and in my mind i'm like okay if I, one of the reasons why i supported trump not like so one of the reasons why i was public about it is like it felt like supporting the guy was a sin was a crime i'm like hey like i'm not i'm confused to get because no matter how anybody wants to say anything this man is loved by a lot of people do you understand? So if he was such a villain, nobody would. Do you understand? So I'm like, so, so my one is like, why do people hate this dude so much? Chicket. So, and of course, you know, I might have my own personal opinions and everything, but I honestly didn't. I mean, I honestly had my reasons for supporting Trump. Chicket. I don't support everything that he did. He's not a perfect person, but 
I, 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 I think he was a good president. I think he was a good president for, for America, right? That's my own opinion, though. Hey, but like I said, we're way past that. We're way past all that right now. <laughs> and some of you might be saying, hey, okay, so it's now you know that you're way past all that. And I'm like, but this is social media. Like, social, we all, I mean, like, did I... Like, so I can't have an... So I really can't honestly have an opinion of my own. I, so I really... So it's really a crime to support a certain candidate. Is is that's not fair? That's like bullying me in the, in the like. So I can't. <laughs> guess So, but like I said, we're way past all that. Um, uh, I remember telling one of my friends, um, "Don't let your emotions control you," because the person was really so pissed, and I'm like, "Why are you so pissed? Why? Like how? <laughs> you know because." I feel like people should be able to have conversations about anything and still respect each other's um, stance. Do you understand? And I, I think I put up, I put it up the other day when I talked about Meghan Markle. I said, you can really, really like someone but not necessarily agree with them on everything. And you can really, really, really dislike someone and literally agree with them on a few things. So, but like I said, we're way past all that. So it's not really about my opinions anymore. It's really about God. It's really about Christ. And I'm very, very honest because I just had to reflect and I'm like, wow, if my post actually made you to mute me, <laughs> I can imagine the people that deleted, <laughs> blocked me <laughs> and all that. But like, I mean, I really didn't mean any harm. And I just had to, if, if, because before I made the video, I, the, the video I made a few weeks back, I was actually inspired by the Holy Spirit because I wanted people to know that, okay, see, I've been out, I've, I've, I've been out there for a while with my own opinions, my own very strong, firm opinions, but the truth is my opinions don't matter. Christ matters more than my opinion. That's what I'm trying to say because in the video I was like, I was like, I was like, I, I hear the Holy Spirit saying, um, I didn't, this is not what I said you should go and do. I said you should, I, should, I, I didn't say you should go and take sides. I said you should go and represent me. I said you should go and reflect my love and beauty. So it's not about being right or wrong. You get, so it's not about you, because we may all hold different opinions on a thing, not necessarily right or wrong, but I just felt like the Holy Spirit was was staring me to be to be to to pull back on some of these things because it's it's, it's sending the wrong signals exactly so it's sending the wrong signals. so people are misunderstanding me and because i know the holy spirit knows my heart and knows i mean no harm but perhaps my approach like you know someone said and then, like my friend um, Chiwen said, that she knew that the Holy Spirit would help me to navigate these certain beliefs. Do you understand? Because we actually live in a society that there is so much division. It's either, you know, there's, there's the whole issue of race, there's gender, there's political ideologies, there's, like, it's all over the place. <coughs> and then again, I have to be honest, sometimes it's like, you feel like if I don't take a stand now, because okay, this is let me, let me even throw this question out to you guys. At what point do you really have to take a stand on something? Because I mean, I know that the truth is that you really don't have to take your stand on everything, right? Hey, but I'm just saying, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just throwing this question out there. So, at what point do you, do you, do you feel like okay? Because even people that take a stand for feminism, people that take a stand for whatever it is you believe in, so. At what point do you get to take a stand for what you believe in? But the point, like I said, we're way past that. <laughs> I keep saying this. But, like I said, my priority is Christ. And personally, I believe that, not personally, God is a God of peace and a God of unity. Right? So I felt like if my opinions are passing the wrong signals, if my opinions are staring people up, if my opinions are being misunderstood, then I might as well just keep my opinions to myself. <laughs> and, you know, you guys may say, hey, hey it's now you, it's just now you're realizing it. Well, yes, it's now I'm realizing it because just like every one of you, 
who like to be yourselves. I mean, I was just being myself and sharing my opinions. And even though I had people, like I said, this is not really about who is right or who is wrong because I still have people that share the same opinions with me. And for we're not here to solicit for people that who agree with you and who doesn't agree with you. I'm just trying to say that sometimes in your heart you really mean no harm, and but people just you you just you just end up passing the wrong signals. Do you understand? So I, I, I believe I ended up passing the wrong signals. And even though I sincerely would love to have certain conversations with certain people and with, you know, but you know, it's how you just know that this conversation is going nowhere. <laughs> it's just going nowhere because it's as if everybody's mind is made up on a particular thing. And then, you know, this issue of tolerance. People are very intolerant these days, but they expect you to be tolerant. Like, it's just all over the place. But I know that these issues are not issues to shy away from. They are issues that should be discussed. But I pray that the Holy Spirit will help me to go about it the right way. I usually pray and say, Holy Spirit, please help me to preach the gospel in humility and with love. Because I'm a human being. I may, I may really have the intention to preach the gospel, but I may, I may end up condemning the person I'm preaching. So I may end up sounding judgmental. I may end up... Do you understand? Hey, so I, I, I know that sometimes you might have the right intentions, but you, you don't even know how to go about that right intention that you have in your heart. So I pray that the Holy Spirit will help me to, you know, navigate certain belief or navigate certain topics, like my friend said, uh, because I believe that these conversations should be had. I, yeah, I believe that People, I believe that people shouldn't shy away from such conversations, but like how you go about it, you know, is 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 key. Um, so um, yeah, <laughs> so I really wanted to say, I just wanted to take my, I just wanted to say that. Um, then yes, I want to <laughs> okay because I want to just shout out to my friends, some of my friends that already know me very well and just know that I see Jennifer, I don't even bother trying to argue with her. And then some people go ahead to argue with me and then, you know, we just, we, we don't agree and then it's not a big deal, you get? Because, I mean, I have friends that I don't necessarily agree with, but, I mean, we're still friends. And, yeah, I can, I can really understand if people muted me or blocked me or whatever. I'm not, I'm not going to lie, I blocked some people myself. <laughs> And you lit it so <laughs> But not, not people that are close to me, Sha. People, random people that I used to, random people that I used to follow. So yeah, I can understand if you decide to, like my friend, she muted me for a while. So yeah, I mean, for your own sanity, you, you understand. So if something is really affecting you directly and you, you don't, I mean, you have the right, just like me, when I'm seeing too much, if I, if I see naked people on my timeline, I just used to know how to remove them because I don't want to be seeing naked, naked people on my time. <laughs> I'm pursuing Christ. And I'm like, I'm going to abort up. In a hand, I abort up. I told me, I forget. I don't have many of you on this table, <laughs> but I'm not even trying to. <laughs> they, like, that's exactly the thing. There's, there's these things that are so difficult. Uh, hey, somebody might say, hey, I'm feeling like a holy wedge. But honestly, I'm not feeling like a holy wedge. I'm just being honest. <laughs> and I'm not like him on the bottom. <laughs> and I'm not like him in the day you <laughs> Can't I not have a right not to like him in the, in the bottom? <laughs> but I'm not going to go out on anyone or anything. So I really pray that the Holy Spirit will help me with these things. Because we're all human beings. Just like you that is listening to me. There may be something that you don't like. Maybe you don't like people that do things in a certain way. I, I can't come and blame you for not liking such a thing. But it's how you go about it that is, do you understand? So I, I believe we all have our preferences or, you know, things that rock our boats. But, I mean, we should be all, we should all, we should, we should, we should all be able to coexist irrespective of our differences, irrespective of our preferences and everything. So for people like me or for someone like me, my priority is Jesus Christ. I've given my life to Christ and Jesus is my priority. And I mean that in every sense of it. So if anything I'm doing isn't pleasing God, I might as well not be doing it at all. So that's actually, that is actually the main reason 
why I decided to soft pedal. Because, I mean, even after the elections, I really wanted to, like, go on and, you know, engage in these things, you know. Maybe try to prove certain things to people, try to show certain things to people, like, not, like, argue, like, you know how... Ah, gosh, you just end up trying to explain yourself every single time. But what I'm trying to say is that I really wanted to, like, go on. Because, like I said, I love politics. I love things, like, so I wanted to, like, you know, go along. But then, even after the elections, you know, because of the way the elections dragged, you know, I mean, I still shared a few things every now and then and everything. But I gradually just kept soft peddling because I was reflecting and, you know, trying to let the Holy Spirit lead me and help me even though i know that i've i've gone ahead to do what i wanted to do like maybe shared my opinion or done stuff and then but thank god for the holy spirit that always helps us you know so i believe the holy spirit just wanted me to really 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 you know soft pedal and reflect and go about things the right way so yeah that was that's why I actually made that video I did and that's why I'm making this video because I was really 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 I was really happy about my friend that reached out to me you know for me that's what true friendship is really about you know the fact that you can actually be upset with someone for something that's not really upset I mean the fact that she muted me I respect that and the fact that she actually remembered me again and reached out to me and told me exactly how she felt I really really respect that and um I, I, someone like me i would do the same even though <laughs> i don't know if i'll mute i will let me not talk but what she did was really cool and i really admire that and um so <laughs> please uh, if 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 there's anything that you think i'm not doing right just reach out to me i mean i'm not going to lie to you like i said i can't argue <laughs> Because I still have, I still have some of my friends that you know reached out to me, and we ended up just having arguments. Not like in a bad way, but you know the whole back and forth. But what of this? What of that? What of this? What of that? But you know that kind of thing, and all of that. But the good thing is that at the end of the day, you know we understand each other. Do you understand? The person understands me. I understand the person. Do you get a But we we will not always have that opportunity to really understand people like. We can understand ourselves because we're friends, but this is social media and I may end up passing the wrong message and never really been able to explain myself. And of course, people are not inside my heart to know what's in my heart. So basically, I'm just going to try and let the Holy Spirit lead me, you know, to engage in the right conversations, the right way at the right time. Um, yeah, so... Yeah, when 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 you when you give your life to Christ, it's 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 it's, 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 it's a gradual process, you know, being transformed to the image of Christ, uh, renewing your mind. So sometimes your human nature still comes off, but if you're sincere about your work with God and you're committed to it, the Holy Spirit always helps us. And even the sincerity and the commitment is not even by our power, by our might. It's the Holy Spirit that even helps us to remain committed. Do you understand? So, um, yeah. Yeah, so, um, I because, I mean, there's so much I really want to share with people, but... When my friend reached out to me, I just thought, okay, even though, I've, I, I, even though I made a video referring to this, I might as well just do another video so I could just clear things up. And uh, honestly, I hope that people <laughs> that muted me can come back. <laughs> people can come back. <laughs> We're done. <laughs> just understand. Uh, so, yeah. Because if you know anybody, <laughs> just tell them that they should come back. <laughs> That is over. Ah, uh, to this life. Mm. It's God that will help us, Sha. You know, because there's so many, so many. I actually even made a video about Candace Owens, and I was, you know, I was, I was um, commending her on, on um, what she's doing because I feel like she's doing a very great job. But then again, I know that people don't like Candace Owens, so. It's just, it's, it's, um, how do I say it? These times are really something where 
people just people everybody's opinionated everybody how do i say now it's, it's almost difficult to ha ah, gosh okay right now it's israel and palestine and you know and the hamas thing and it's just all over the place and i'm like the enemy just loves to divide and conquer like it just has they just they they has to be fiction it has to be either racism or gender or now is the whole anti-semitism and everything going on and you know and that's why i just told myself like <laughs> if i went this whole um israel palestine thing started honestly i wanted to like take a stand of course you guys know my you, you already you already know <laughs> and then even though even though self in my mind, I was like, this one said, you can't even compare Jennifer. You have to take a stand for Christ. But then, at least I was going to pray about it and let the Holy Spirit lead me. Because I've always been one person to believe that hashtags don't mean anything. I mean, hashtags can, hashtags can, you know, they can stir a movement and stuff like that. But hashtags are hashtags. And yes. You see social justice right because people do this a lot like sometimes there's something going on and you see christians trying to guilt trip christians and say if you claim you're a christian and you're not standing for this you're not a christian you don't do that you see social justice does not equate righteousness or godliness mm -mm, they are two different things do you understand so if you're a Christian, you're a born again Christian, your priority is Christ. So even when there's social injustice, you should also be able to allow the Lord Christ to help you to interfere the way you don't have to join the bandwagon. That's the honest truth. Do you understand? Because people people are fond of guilt tripping other people to believe that you have to do this or you must do you you don't you don't have to. Do you understand? For instance, the whole Black Lives Matter thing and everything, Black Lives Matter. I believe all lives matter. But yes, I understand the sentiments behind Black Lives Matter. And we, we, we also agree that movements like that are always hijacked for very selfish reasons. But, you know, but that shouldn't, you know, deter the, 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 the struggle behind the Black Lives Matter. So these things are all over the place. Do you understand? But what I'm trying to say is that being a righteousness or sorry social justice social justice is not the same thing with being righteous or being godly they are two different things people can fight for social justice in different different ways do you understand so yeah um there's just so much going on in the world today so much going on in the world today and um we we'll just keep praying you know we'll keep praying um instagram <laughs> i noticed one um new stuff on instagram if you go to your profile they give you there's a place for you to put in your pronouns for those of you who don't know pronouns uh it's because of the whole lgbtq transgender stuff so if you want to identify as him her she them they and stuff like that you know i mean i really have my personal opinions about it not even as a christian yes and as a human being <laughs> because you know, but then everybody, you know, we're living in, you know, we're living in a society where, um, we're trying to be inclusive, right? Yeah. So I understand, I, un I understand the concept of inclusion, you know, but as Christians, we're being careful not to include even the things that are against our faith. So as Christians, we will try to tolerate, but we may not necessarily, we may not necessarily uh be a part of something or stand for something or encourage something do you understand so it's just all over the place and um i see conservatives taking their stance you know it, right now i see conservatives christians republicans there's like a coalition going on trump supporters and everything and then it's all modeled up so people you know, because you can actually be a republic you can actually be a conservative and not a republican you can actually be a conservative and not even a christian Yes, because the enemy disguises himself as the, as as an angel of light. So you can actually have very good moral standards, but you don't know Christ. <laughs> Do you know that's possible? Like, you can actually have like very high morals, but you don't know Christ. You don't have a relationship with Christ. So being a conservative or having high moral values and stuff that doesn't mean 
that you have the fear of God in you. It doesn't mean that you are born again. It doesn't mean that you have a relationship with Christ. So we must know where our priorities lie. Do you understand? So it's just they're just they're just there's just, there's just so much going on in the world today. And that's why I, I that, that's actually why I I feel the need to engage in these conversations. But like I said, how to engage in these conversations is, you know, what I'll have to. And if I even have to at all, because if the Holy Spirit doesn't want me to engage in these conversations, I mean, who am I? So the key thing is to submit to the Holy Spirit and just let him lead you. So... I mean, personally, I feel like these conversations are real because these are everyday issues. Do you understand? So, these are, these are everyday issues. Just everything going on in the world today. Somehow, you know, that's why when people say Christians shouldn't get involved in politics. No, Christians should get involved in politics. But how you get involved in politics is what matters. Because if you don't get involved in politics, one way or the other, it's going to say affect you. The politicians, are, the politicians are going to make rules or laws that's going to affect you. So Christians should be involved in politics. But how how to be involved in politics? The way we're going to let the Holy Spirit determine, determine for us. And, um, and uh, yeah, so I'll, I'll, I'll try to... And even with this, you know, there's just so much going on. Even with um, uh, mainstream media, not mainstream, even with social media these days, you know, the whole censorship thing, you have to be careful about what you say. You know, if I if you talk about certain things, I have a, had a friend tell me I have to be careful about what you're saying so that it doesn't um, it doesn't um, it doesn't hinder you from getting a job sometime in the future. And I'm like, these things are really it's really bad where we found ourselves because you know it's 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 bad because how is it that I can't you know why do why do I it doesn't make any sense you know because um, it really doesn't make any sense. I feel like. People, people shouldn't be censored for what they believe in. Do you understand? So, I mean, it's just all over the place. And um, it's all over the place. It's all over. Because you may be saying, eh, 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 tomorrow it could, be, it could be something that you believe in that they are going to censor. So nobody has the monotony of, uh, of the right things to say or the right things to do or the right way to go about anything. You get but when when a certain group of people begin to intimidate another group of people you know through media and stuff like that it's 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 very it's very frightening and very discouraging you know but we are in this world we're not of this world we can't be bothered <laughs> we cannot be bothered you get so um yeah i want to encourage people so irrespective of what you believe, irrespective of what side you're on, um, honestly, Christ is all that matters. Like, Christ is really all that matters. And I know that most times we all claim to be Christians, but we're not committed. We're not even, we may be sincere in our heart, but we're not committed. And we don't even want to be committed. But I just want to encourage you to be committed to the things of God and um be committed to god be committed to living for god that's the word because i know that most of us grew up with a lot of religious belief and a lot of things that are just not necessarily you know so a lot of us grew up with a lot of doctrines and religion religious beliefs and stuff like that but that's not necessarily what it means to have a relationship with god and at the same time some people claim to have a relationship with god but their life isn't changed. So you can't have a relationship with God and still live the way you used to live. Do you understand? Because when you give your life to Christ, the gospel transforms you. So you you, you are gradually transformed into the image of Christ. Do you get God? Um, God said, if you, if you love me, keep my commandments, right? So the love of God is not the emotional love that the world has perverted. The love of Christ is sacrificial. You know, so if you love God, you're going to obey him. I mean, Christ went all the way to the cross for us. He gave up his, he gave up himself for us. So we should give up ourselves for him as well. So the love of Christ is not the same love that the world preaches. Do you understand? Because I was going to make a comparison. So the whole conservatives and Republicans, you know, because this whole thing that has been happening and is still happening, you know, you have... 
you know, the Democrats, the liberals, the progressives, the far left on one side. You have the conservatives, the republicans, the Christians. And sorry, there are Christians on both sides. And I want to honestly believe that they are good Christians that are liberals and good Christians that are conservatives and all of that. Do you understand? So it's like the conservatives are the holy wages, the goody two shoes. Jonathan the Oversabis, the assistant Holy Spirits, <laughs> and then the liberals are the freestylers. They always tell you it's all about love, it's all about love. You know, they always try to play nice. Everything goes, anything goes, you know, but the conservatives are more uptight, you know, and everything. So the truth is, I believe that they are honest Christians that are conservatives and honest Christians that are liberals, right? Um, so... <laughs> what was I going to say? Um, so it's really not about um, any, an ideology. It's really not about conservatism or liberalism. It's um, Christianity is different. Do you understand? And um, as a Christian, we should stand for Christ. We should be united. God said that. Christ said that by the way we love one another, they will know that we are from him. So we need to be united in Christ. That's why I said that the whole election and everything going on is, is you know, it was like a blow on the Christian community. Not because Trump did not win or anything, because I know, yes, there were so many prophecies about um, Trump's election, even his first um, election and the second one and everything. In fact, even right now, there are people who still believe in different things, you know, as regards the election, as regards Trump and everything. But it's really not about Trump, honestly. It's, it's not about Trump, you get. Uh, so most of us that actually support Trump, we had our reasons for supporting Trump. So it's really not about him, you get. Um, so ah, my daughter has woken up again. Okay, she has just about to cut my video short. So um, yeah. So I I guess I'm making a couple of videos to talk about. Of course, not anything that is controversial or anything that will make us to fight or quarrel, but. By the power of the Holy Spirit, I'll be able to engage in these conversations in a way that I don't even know what to say. <laughs> Anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, like my videos, comment, share my videos. And um, if you actually watched this video up until this point, you are the real MVP. My daughter, don't wake up. We'll make I go carry on. Thanks for watching and uh, see you guys in my next video. Bye.